Monster Integration Written by Anwen Chapter 26 Battle's Conclusion Her boobs are really nice right? Asked friendly looking guy beside in lost tone, yes they are, I said out without thinking. Thank the heavens. I said softly and no one paying attention to us but Michael didn't know he will see those breasts in near future. I am Billy by the way. He introduced himself as he took a short look at my face before, he again started to stare at Madeline's boobs. Michael, I said. The fight has started to get serious, from their fighting it is clearly seen that both of them are using weapon styles, any one of them can easily kill me second even if I'm circulating the one set supreme combat exercise. Suddenly there is a change in their battle, big amount of ghostly green smoke started to come of Nigel's body and started to solidify into basketball size fist and quickly six basketball size fist which looks like smoke coming out of them. They started to float around Nigel, it looks like a long time, but the whole process finished within seconds. Undefined take this. Nigel shouted as he whirled six solidified ghostly green fists toward Madeline, while the attack coming toward her she Madeline was also preparing for the defense as fist-size hexagonal glasses started to materialize in front of her and soon all glass connected and formed a shield in front of her. It all happened so fast that even Michael barely able to see the half-skills forming. Bang bang bang. As fists started to collide with shields on after after another, the ghostly gas fist didn't dissipate after colliding with a shield. Nigel controls them and attacks with them on Madeline's shield over and over, the shocked expression could be a seen on Nigel's face when he saw none of his story's fists able to penetrate her shield. Madeline's shield held out till that ghostly fists dissipated, spider cracks had formed all over the shield when that last fist dissipate. Do you know what those half skills are? I asked Billy. You don't know? Billy asked back confusingly, just I was about to say that I don't have access to read about them Billy cut, oh. You must be at the private stage, he asked I nodded. Billy didn't ask in a delirious way, he must have thought I must be specialist grade as most of the tenants are. Sorry for that. I didn't know you were at the private stage. Billy apologized, it's okay. I said, as long as anyone shows its aura at his own will, no one can get their level especially before the corporal stage, in corporal stage one since become sharp enough that one can easily guess the level of those below him. There is law in a republic that we only get access to the information according to our power grade. In a private stage, I could only read information that will useful to the private stage evolver. To read higher stage either I have to level up or have to upgrade my access through other means such as lieutenant grade evolver can upgrade my access to corporal level. The half skill that Nigel used is known as Deca Smoke Fist which is derived from the skill known as Hex Smoke Skill. In using half skill one can create up to 10 fists and using original skill one can create yipped 100 fists, he said. And the half half skill that Madeline used is known as minor glass shield and it is derived from skill known as glass shield, it is signature defense skill of glass knight and only those at class A or above can learn it, he said, a hint of envy could be seen in his eyes when he talks about glass shield. Having being signature defense skill of big organization, it has to have some might. This Madeline's intelligence in too great, it is just two days since she joined the glass night and in just two days she got basic mastery over it, Billy said in shock voice, not only the many people had a shocked expression seeing this. I don't know how to time it took to understand and acquire basic mastery over it but looking at all of them's expression, it must have taken more than two days. The battle continues on and more people also started to come in the training facility soon nearly those people. Many of the people must have called their friends, such interesting battle, they rarely able to see. Madeline can you at least tell me why you don't like me? Just give me a reason please, asked Nigel in nearly pleading tone, Madeline didn't say anything just stayed silent and countered Nigel's move. This Nigel must really like Madeline to ask a question in front of all people without caring about reputation. Nigel s a good guy but he is just too obsessed with Madeline. If he can divert his obsession into practice he will achieve many things if he cans, he won't able make much progress in the future, said Billy softly, Billy must have known Nigel for time to know to say this about him. Do you know Nigel? I asked him, yes, he is my best friend. We grew up in the same town, said Billy enthusiastically. Hearing his answer I really want to curse this Billy with all my heart. If he is your best friend then why are you so insanely focused on boobs of best friend's crush? Can't you give your friend some respect and not to stare at your friend's crush? I wouldn't want a friend like Billy who looks at my girlfriend's assets with such a gaze. If you able to defeat me I'll tell you, said Madeline softly, hearing her voice all crowd stopped talking and watch Nigel intently, 
To their discontent Nigel just nodded and didn't say anything but his attacks became more aggressive. Bang bang bang. Sounds could be heard as spear and gauntlet crash with other, no result could be determined to see their battle as they both are each other equal in power. The battle has been going on for three hours but results still couldn't be seen clearly, if one completely trust one's eye, one could see Nigel had the upper hand by a fraction. Both of them are exchanging raging blows, no one able to admit defeat someone even started the betting pool and lots of people could be seen on betting Nigel. The chances of Nigel's winning are really few. Said Billy, why do you say so, from the battle chances of Nigel's winning could be seen high. I said Billy just smiled you will see, he said still in the whole battle Billy still hadn't taken his eyes off Madeline's chest. Another two hour pass when there is sudden change in the battle, a back color string start to spread out from the tip of Madeline's spare and sudden bonded Nigel, he didn't have chance to put any offensive when tip Madeline touched the Nigel's necks, I happened so fast that, I have had to see it clearly. We have once accidentally had seen Madeline use this half skill outside, it was so swift that monster had no chance to escape when I string bonded it and Madeline's spear pierced that monster's skull, he said. Madeline walked out of the ring and left the training facility with her spare, Nigel stood motionless on the ring as he can't believe he lost Madeline in such fashion. Zip suddenly Billy vanish in front of me when I look up he is taking Nigel's hand and walking out of the ring with him toward the exit of the training facility. I sucked a cold breath when I think about the bill speed, his chubby cephal one second in front of me, the next second he was on stage taking Nigel out. Seeing this I remember my father warning he had given me before I left that in a big city, everyone on powerhouse treads carefully. I sigh when I remember my father's words, what he said is really true. If you want more chapters please put the like button and subscribe to my channel Journey of Imagination.